Hi, I'm Ann, food editor at Cooking Light. Key lime pie is my absolute hands down favorite dessert. It combines lots of things I love. Tart, fruity flavors, a creamy rich topping, and a buttery crust. But the problem is, classic versions contain a lot of fat as well. But with our recipe, key lime tart, I'll show you lots of great tips for how to lighten up this dessert. We'll start with the crust. I'm using cake flour instead of all-purpose flour because cake flour has a lot less gluten and that's gonna make the crust more tender. To that, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, just two tablespoons, and a tablespoon of olive oil. This is just regular olive oil. You don't wanna use anything with too much flavor, so no extra virgin olive oil here. Canola oil would also work nicely. I'm just gonna pulse a few times to incorporate the butter into the flour. I'm gonna add a touch of cider vinegar. The acid helps to tenderize the crust. And then I'm gonna drizzle over a couple of tablespoons of ice water, and then I'll just pulse until this comes together as a dough. I'm gonna turn it out onto a piece of plastic wrap and chill it for about 30 minutes so that it firms up. Now that the dough has chilled, I'm gonna roll it out on two pieces of plastic wrap that are side by side. Place the dough in the center of the plastic wrap and cover it with more plastic wrap. Start slowly and take your time. So just little passes to get you started. That'll help ensure you end up with a circle and not something that looks like an amoeba. Once you get the dough rolled out to a nice 10 inch circle, you can place it into a nine inch tart pan. You can also make this in a standard pie plate. That's an easy option. The filling couldn't be easier to put together. I have some egg yolks in the bowl, and to that I'm gonna add some fresh lime rind and some lime juice. Lime juice is what gives this pie all its flavor. And then I'm adding a can of fat-free sweetened condensed milk. In this context, when you're combining it with lime rind and lime juice, really flavorful ingredients, the fat-free product is indistinguishable from the full fat version. Just pour the filling into the baked and cooled crust. And now this is ready to go into the oven. The last component of this tart is a meringue topping, and we're using that in place of whipped cream. Just place egg whites and cream of tartar in a bowl. Cream of tartar just stabilizes those eggs so they don't deflate once you whip them. Once you get the egg whites frothy, then gradually add the granulated sugar until stiff peaks form. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of vanilla extract. What this does is adds a lot of richness to that creamy meringue topping and in some magical way, makes it seem even creamier. Just beat it in quickly. Now I'm ready to take the tart out of the oven and top it with the meringue. It's important that you smooth it all the way out to the edges of the crust. That way it won't shrink and pull back as it bakes. Once you spread the meringue out, you can take the back of a spoon and make some pretty shapes. Then all you need to do is pop it in the oven for four minutes and you're done. This finished tart is absolutely gorgeous and I know it's gonna taste delicious. It's something you'd be proud to serve anyone. And it's something that you can enjoy a lot more often knowing that we've cut about 100 calories per serving, about two thirds of the fat, and we've gone from 14 grams of saturated fat down to about 2.5. Now be sure to check out Cooking Light Magazine or cookinglight.com for more great ideas for how to lighten up classic recipes.